Rutgers University is home to one of the most advanced oceanography institutes in the country. The brightest minds in the field of oceanography come to Rutgers to take advantage of the opportunities offered here. The department features numerous decorated professors, cutting edge technology, and a dedicated student body. Yet among all his talent, one man stands out above the rest. Scott Glenn is an award-winning professor of oceanography who has been an important part of the Rutgers faculty for over a decade. I came to Rutgers University back in 1990 uh, when I was um, fresh out of a postdoc out of Harvard came to this brand new institute. What drew me to Rutgers University was this brand new institution, the uh, Institute of Marine and Coastal Sciences. Um, it was a new oceanographic institution they were building. It was designed to be interdisciplinary from the start and I thought that was very appealing and I thought they had a good focus. Most of the time here we've been working on coastal ocean observatories. We've been building observatories to uh, look at the ocean more intensely than we've ever looked before. My proudest moments at Rutgers, they all seem to be associated with students. I seem to have gotten two or three awards now from various groups uh, for teaching. And it's, it's always those teaching awards that always seem to be uh, the most important. You see those students, they're doing good things, and uh, that's recognized by um, the upper levels of the university. In addition to his research, Scott Glenn has left another indelible impact on Rutgers University. He established the Cool Room, a state-of-the-art research and observation laboratory from which he and his team can monitor the entire ocean. Well, I love going to sea, but to go to sea you have to go out on a ship. And being out on a ship for a month at a time or so, it means you have to be away from your family. And so I had to figure out a way that I could still go to sea, still have all the excitement of discovery, but I could stay here and still be home for dinner. And so that's why we built the Cool Room. It's the most advanced ocean observatory on the planet. We can put ourselves at sea from that room anywhere in the world, and I'm still home for dinner. The research that we do in the Cool Room concerns the long-term trends that we're seeing in the ocean and also the big events like uh, severe weather. A lot of the other oceanographic research centers are located right by the water away from the main campus. This place is unique and that we have our oceanographic center with our ships right on the Raritan, right here on campus. The undergraduates can walk in any day and sit in the cool room and work right alongside the scientists. Oh, well, the student involvement's getting bigger and bigger every year. It's increased by an order of magnitude already just in the last two years. We used to have two or three students, typically a semester, and then we had 10, and now we have 30. The major's growing, the people are involved, uh, the number of people involved are growing, and they're getting more and more excited about the ocean and learning more about it. Under Scott Glenn's leadership, the Cool Room continues to spearhead oceanography research in the Atlantic Ocean. The Rutgers community is proud to have such an accomplished researcher a part of its faculty. With leaders like Scott Glenn leading the way, Rutgers can expect to continue its tradition of academic excellence for years to come. For RUTV, I'm Chris Rich. For more information about Scott Glenn and the Cool Room, visit the website at www.thecoolroom.org.